Hey guys, it's Emily and welcome to day six of the reading rush. So it's currently 10 a.m. and it's Saturday and I'm just like so happy that it's finally the weekend because today is going to be our reading day. I can tell you guys that I have lots of reading plans. I plan on collecting all of the badges and just like doing all the things today. It's going to be an ella productive day and I'm excited and I'm ready for it. So it's currently like almost 10 a.m. as I said before, I'm going to the gym. But today our goal is going to be to finish reading Somewhere Only We Know, which is in my room. Oh, right here. So uh, I want to finish this book. Why am I not in focus? Hello, focus on me. Thank you. I plan on finishing this book. I'm currently on page 178, so I've made quite a bit of progress since I updated you last night. So I'm pretty confident that I can finish this book today. I also want to read the graphic novel. I think I'm going to do that today, unless I keep it for tomorrow. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to read it today, so I want to do that, and I also want to probably continue reading I'll Have What She's Having, maybe start Well Played, we'll see how I feel, but I want at least to finish one book, so I do this one or I'll Have What She's Having, and then read the graphic novel, and possibly continue reading something else or start a new book. But I would rather like finish the books that I have started before starting something else, just because like I feel like I'm in the middle of so many books at the moment, so I just kind of want to take things one step at a time. But yeah, right now I think I'm going to go to the gym, and then we can get started with our day. All right, so it's 12.45. I'm back from the gym, I've had lunch. I haven't made a lot of reading progress. However, I'm about to go outside and I'm going to bring my graphic novel, which is Spence, I'll go get it. And I'm also going to just like go enjoy the sunshine and like the warmth and everything. We have a great patio, so I'm just going to go spend the afternoon outside. When I'm done with Spence, I'll probably switch over to somewhere only we know because I have about 150 pages left to read. I've reached the halfway point, so I shouldn't have too much left to read. But first, my mom and I are going to go in the hot tub because we have a hot tub here and uh well i'm just going to go enjoy that since we don't have a pool Hey guys, I look kind of trashy, forgive me, but it is 6.24 p.m. It's much later in the day, but I have great news. I have finished two books. That looks like four, but I swear it's two. <laughs> so I spend the afternoon outside, mostly reading, but also doing other things. As you guys probably saw through that little montage that I did, I had a great afternoon. Super productive in terms of reading, but also I just had like a great time overall. It felt like I was on a summer vacation, even though I'm not. And I don't know, I just, I had a great afternoon. It was a great day overall, really loved it. But now let's talk about books. So the first book that I completed is Fence Volume 4 by C.S. Cat, Joanna Demad, and Joanna Lafuente. I really enjoyed this. I think it might be my favorite volume in the series so far. I don't know. I loved it. Flew through it. It was so funny and I felt like it was more coherent than the rest of the series. I feel like this one really had one topic in mind and it was more not coherent. I feel it might be cohesive. It might be the better word. I felt like it had a storyline and I just I really enjoyed it. Like it was fun. I really liked it. I'm giving it a five out of five stars which means that I've completed two challenges. The first one is to read a book completely outside which I did and also read a five star book. So we did that. Also I found out that there's going to be a a novel, not a graphic novel, but like an actual book about uh, Fence, which is called Fence Striking Distance. And it's coming out on, uh, I think it's September 26th, like this year, which I'm very excited about. I don't know if it's like a re, like a novelization of the first four graphic novels or if it's like a new story, I guess we'll see, but I'm excited. Like, I love this series. If you're looking for like a good graphic novel series, I really love those. My main complaint typically is that they're too short because I just want more time with the characters, but I really enjoy them. They're fun. And like, if you're looking for a slow burn romance as well, apparently this is 
the one because like we're four volumes in and we're starting to see something happen between our two main protagonists this takes slow to a whole new level but then i also completed somewhere only we know by marine goo guys i really enjoyed this one i'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars i really liked it as i've mentioned before it's such a fun and like light and fluffy book but also it got real i was not expecting it to get so real i feel like we really got to see her characters in depth and we had like discussion about fame and like the future because we're following like two teenagers who are like 17 and 18 and they're both like at such an early stage in their life and they're not sure about the future which obviously makes sense given their age but yeah i just i loved the discussions in this book and i also thought it was such a fun story overall really loved it it's probably my favorite morning goo book that i've read the first book that i read of hers i gave like two stars uh the way you make me feel like a four and this one is a 4.5 the only reason it's not a five is because it felt a little bit ridiculous at times but overall like it's so good i just really loved it and our main characters at such chemistry and i just really enjoyed it that means that we have completed another challenge and this one was for the book that takes place on a continent that's different than yours so i have completed at least three different challenges today i think right now i'm going to like fill up my profile on the reading rush and like just add the badges and we'll see if there's anything else i have accomplished i think i'll just like also write down my tally for today just to get an idea of how many pages i've read so far it's probably at around 200 something which is like the most that i've read in one day as of right now which is awesome tonight i think i'm going to continue reading i'll have what she's having by erin carlson i might start reading well played we'll see how i feel so far i think i might want to continue this one simply because i want to continue reading the book that i've started i think my mom also wanted to play like video games which like it's fun and we haven't done it in ages so i think we might do that as well so i might not be getting as much reading done as i possibly could but also like i don't mind we have all day tomorrow to finish this book and possibly well played i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to finish both this and well played by tomorrow maybe but the chances of that happening are like slim i think this one we can finish or we can read well played but i don't think we can do both so we'll have to choose <laughs> so far i'm pretty satisfied with my progress i feel like today kind of picked things up a little bit and we are finally like back on track i'm happy so now let's fill my reading rush profile hey guys so it's 9 52 it's a little bit later i have been making some progress with i'll uh, have what she's having by erin carlson i am currently on page 166 which means that i've read about 75 pages tonight i ended up not playing video games with my mom i think she ended up like washing her hair so i ended up reading all night which is great i have made as you saw quite a bit of progress i think overall my tally for the day would probably be at well over 300 pages i'm really satisfied with the amount of reading that i got done today I'm currently reading about Sleepless in Seattle and I'll be honest I'm a little bit confused because I've never seen the movie so there's a lot of like references and it's kind of hard for me to like imagine and just like visualize what they're talking about because I've never seen the movie so like I know the main actors I know like Mick Ryan and Tom Hanks but I know nothing else about the film so that part is a bit confusing because I haven't seen the movie and I feel like in order to truly appreciate the book you really have to have seen at least the three main big romantic comedies that Nora Ephron has produced so you have to have seen When Harry Met Sally, Sleepless in Seattle and I'm guessing you've got mail. I haven't gotten to that part yet but I have a feeling that it's coming. As someone who has only seen two of them, some of the nuances I guess of the book I just completely lose because I don't understand everything about the movie. Does that make sense? I just I can't figure out what's happening because I, I can't visualize anything so it's hard for me to like truly appreciate some parts of the book but overall like I, I remember really loving the parts about when Harry met Sally so I'm excited to see what's in store for You've Got Mail because it is one of my favorite movies so I'm excited to see what's going to come out of this but so far I'm enjoying it. I think if you're a fan of Nora Ephron's movies I think you would really like this so far like it's good I really enjoy it it's so fascinating and like interesting to read about because there's so much about this that I would never have known if it wasn't for the book like the fact that before filming Sleepless in Seattle like Tom Hanks kind of got cold feet and like there's a lot about this that I just wasn't aware of and it's so interesting to read about all of this like the industry as a whole I'm enjoying it so far it's a good read but now it's getting late I'm getting tired and I read quite a bit today so I think I'm just going to go to bed so I guess that's it for today thank you guys so much for watching hopefully this was more interesting and like entertaining than the previous vlogs we are finally getting to complete some of the challenges and I'm excited because I mean it was about time so I guess that's it for today I will see you guys tomorrow for the final day of the reading rush oh my god I'm not ready if you enjoyed this video make sure to give this a big thumbs up that really helps off my channel don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys tomorrow bye